In April 2010, Nigeria enacted a transformative new piece of legislation and the country's oil and gas industry and possibly its wider economy changed forever. This groundbreaking event was the enactment of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act, which was brought in to change decades of foreign domination of Nigeria's oil and gas sector. Before the enactment of the act, uh, all production activities were in the hands of international operating companies, the IOCs. They uh, manage the operations, uh, the Shells, Chevron, Exxon. Before the act came on board, it's a question of who the IOC is like. If they like your face, they give you a job. If they don't like your face, you're gone. Engineer Simbi Wabote is the executive secretary of the board that oversees implementation of the act. The Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, or NCDMB, all engineering design, uh, conceptual, front-end, detailed engineering design were done outside the country. Even studies, uh, petroleum uh, uh, engineering studies, reservoir studies, every study was done out of the country. Before we set it up, more than $380 billion walked away from the country. This transformation did not happen overnight. Oil and gas extraction, both on land and offshore, requires cutting-edge engineering and professional experience management. Today, as we speak, 80% of all engineering design in the oil and gas industry is done in country, which is a major achievement. Uh, you can imagine the capital flight when we did uh, all those kind of design outside the country. We found out that most of the service companies were all multinationals. And when they are multinationals, the values go back to where the, the, the capital that is bringing that service is coming from. So we said no. Most of us have worked for multinational companies all over the world. So we came together. Let's do the same service in Nigeria for the betterment of Nigerians to help Nigerians create more entrepreneurs, return more value in country, and create more employment and opportunities for Nigeria. The signing of the assent by Mr. President triggered the implementation. I formed a group that we called the Nigerian Content Consultative Forum. That included all the Nigerian content managers from all the IOCs, the service companies, and any recognized entity that was operating in the industry. The NCDMB adopted a practical win-win approach. It's a win for the Nigerian government because we build infrastructure and facilities and create jobs. It's a win for our clients because everywhere in the world the local content works, prices go down and Nigeria is no different. And it's a win for the workers, the staff. Before the act uh, was enacted, the uh, local content percentage in the industry was less than 5%. You know, so between 2010 until 2015, we moved it to about 22% in terms of the growth of local content. But as I said today, it's about 30%. Because of the success recorded uh, by the uh, NCDMB, a lot of other sectors are clamoring for extending local content uh, uh, to other sectors. Uh, already there is a, a push for a law uh, to expand the scope of local content to other major sectors of the country. Indeed, the successful transformation of Nigeria's oil and gas industry is now being replicated elsewhere in what has become Africa's largest economy. The Nigerian content in Nigeria is the pride of Africa, frankly. We have perhaps the most certain local content regulations in Africa. The laws are very clear. The board has done an outstanding job. They've enforced the law. They've been pragmatic. They've been fair. They've been reasonable.
key stakeholders in the industry recognize the success of the Act and the key oversight role of the NCDMB. And with this remarkable legacy of transformation, the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board is well positioned for its next 10 years of service to the people of Nigeria. <laughs>